damage as it used to be. So if you're looking at the Takiro and you remember the Takiro Vault, he's... Oh, try leaning now as well. Dread. He could be opened on here. I think they're going to go for it. Disruption. There's your chilling touch. Your force will get the stun. And how much damage have they got? Enough. Dread's going to drop. Goddamn, at least get the big decay. Snako's going to drop. Oh, goddamn, really doesn't give a damn. He might have actually finished the ward. Uh, Havos, the stun, now gonna land. There isn't a chilling touch, but the damage is still gonna be there. There's your liquid fire, and goddamn, drops down the tombstone. He's gonna survive. They're trying to get rid of this tombstone, but Arstar's dying to the zombies, and now another decay! Goddamn, with a double kill! A Suneko is standing right in front of the pit, has a look in, the smoke's gonna break and us. it's like, wait, what's going on? Suneko's on, on the point, so we can move away, disrupt away, and now the rotation is being completely called out. Steals the bounty rune as well, maybe a little bit greedy here, the puck's in orbit, the stun from Vorce will buy the space, the Dream Core will arrive here, and a Vorce takes the stun straight away, they will be killing up the Shadow Demon, but Arstar's still in the neighborhood, the Lightning's bounced, Soul Rip keeping him alive, and they're gonna take two kills, and this will open up for Roshan, but now Denny will arrive, raise number one, raise Raise number two, and attack number three, the sound from Goddamn will keep him alive a little bit longer, just long enough, he's so low on life, down to about 6 HP on the attack, and Dandy, it's this haste rune that's giving him the advantage. But so where is the damage? Funnick will finally drop! Here's your buyback coming down, he's winding up for the Requiem, but he can't do it! He had that far, he actually had the Ursa right behind him! Now he's moving over for Goddamn, now the Ice Blast as well! Goddamn probably won't be able to survive through this one, but the Ursa is brought back, Arstar, only barely alive, and Vaughn's just stood there with a bit basically Arto! In time, the Ice Blast is going to be on all four of them! Hey, Char, in a lot of trouble, the Macro is still doing the work, but they've lost the puck! That's a dieback for him! He's got nowhere to come back to a living! Artis, he's trying to bring down Funnick, but Funnick with a back turn, running up high, the Ice Blast will control him, but a what cost defensive disruption! He's actually going to save the lives of Naked! And maybe they got enough. Dreads on the run. Seneco right behind him. He can't keep up. He has a fuel play charge. They avoid the ice path. Prediction coming until he walks straight back into it. Now it's Korok. Of course, they need to make sure he does not die here. But they got the other hex. Korok came back in again. The dazzles on the sideline. Dread will join him in a moment. The ice path doesn't on anyone. The dual press not enough to kill the funny. Four euros down for Hell Razors. Navi GG. Incredible plays and incredible mistakes and everything. It's, this is what makes the, the most entertaining games to watch. But holy. I mean, I don't know where to start and where to end with the analysis of this game. There's just so many things happening. All in all, I guess we can go back to the last fight of the, the game, right? We, we talked a lot about everything that went on during the game. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that Afro Ninja gets caught out in the, in the beginning. He gets, he gets brought down. He's such an integral part of how they win these fights. And for him to make one mistake at the end there, he gets caught out and dies. His initiation was... I, I don't know if we actually have a replay of that last fight. That would be if, really cool. If we do, it would be amazing. Yeah. So, all right, I'll, I'll wait with it until we have the replay ready. That's going to be in a moment, but...